Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to install battle.net launcher on your steam deck running on steam OS I have already shown you how to install third party launchers on steam deck We'll be using the same process basically download the windows version of battle.net launcher and install it via steam itself We'll be using the latest version of G proton as the compatibility layer If you haven't already downloaded it just download it from proton up QT app you can get this application for free from discover store let me just quickly show you this there's the store proton up qt app launch i have connected a bluetooth mouse and keyboard to steam deck this will make it easier for us to log into a battle.net account okay so here just click on add version compatibility tool g proton version select the latest version from here in my case it is version 7 49 then click on install i have already installed it we can close it now using the battle.net launcher i'll be installing diablo part 3 we'll also be showing you a short gameplay just open any browser go to battle.net website from here download the launcher click here windows version it is being downloaded 4.6 mb in size it has been downloaded there is the file exe so now just open steam in desktop mode then go to library then click on add a game add a non steam game click on browse here we need to go to home deck download file tab select all files there's the battle.net setup exe file select it click on open from here make sure it is checked then click on add selected programs it should be added to our steam library there it is now just click on the settings cog here go to properties click on compatibility check this setting click here and make sure G Proton or latest version of G Proton is selected in my case it is 7-49 close it click on play installer should be starting there you go it has started continue uncheck this setting launch battle.net when you start your computer once the installation is complete this prompt will pop up need to log into our battle.net account make sure you check this setting keep me logged in so you don't have to enter the credentials every time you launch the application now i'll be using the keyboard to type in my credentials once you are logged in this prompt will show up scan for games and just close it we'll be doing a fresh installation skip to here all of your games will be shown under the game section my games i'm going to install diablo part 3 first let me just show you the launcher setting click here then click on settings select on game launch from here select exit battle.net completely check this setting show a brief countdown instead of closing immediately this setting unchecked launch battle.net when I start my computer just click on downloads now from here I will be changing the default install directory click on change will be selecting my SD card expand my computer in my case my SD card was marked as E drive in your case this may be different just expand all of these drives here I will be selecting this folder battle.net just click on open change is saved make sure this setting is unchecked automatically create a desktop icon for games during installation uncheck this setting as well limit download bandwidth don't want this done our changes have been saved let's install the game diablo part 3 you can also install overwatch part 2 using the same method game version install 
default install directory or SD card uncheck this create desktop shortcut start install download size for this game is around 17 GB I have a 200 megabits per second plan getting a download speed of around 20 megabyte per second and just wait for the download to complete installation complete now we will be adding launches exe file to our steam library so that we can directly start it from there I'm not going to create a separate entry for this just going to redirect the launch directory of launchers setup file to the launch directory of launchers exe file let me just show you this close minimize to system tray or exit application entirely up to you metal.net client is running in the background right click exit launchers exe file is present in the prefix folder that is present in the compart data folder corresponding to battle.net launcher i'll just show you where the shader cache and compart data files are stored for this launcher just open dolphin file explorer go to home then go to dot local folder open share then open steam open steam apps there's the compart data folder these are the pseudo IDs so in order to easily find the pseudo ID corresponding to battle.net launcher I'll be using proton tricks application you can download it for free from discover store proton tricks already installed launch and there's the non steam shortcut battle.net setup this is the ID ending with 862 there it is open it open the pfx folder open the drive c folder basically this is the windows environment simulated by steam os open program files x86 battle.net folder and there's the exe file battle.net launcher in case you are wondering where the shader cache files are stored for the battle.net launcher just go back to the steam apps folder here open shader cache folder look for the pseudo id for this launcher ending with 862 there it is and this is the directory where the shader cache files are stored select battle.net setup exe file click on the settings icon here then click on properties target directory select it wipe it click on browse here and just navigate to the directory that I just showed you previously compound data folder 862 pfx drive c program files battle.net is the launcher file exe click on open and that's it you can close it now test it click on play all right our launcher started worked very nicely now i'll be showing you how to add the artwork for this launcher we will be using boiler application i have already shown you the setup for boiler select the launcher click on settings icon here properties let's rename it i'll just name it as battle.net close it just open boiler application launch click on this icon here it will automatically download the required artwork files done importing games that's it restart steam click on library and there you go artwork has been installed it was that easy boiler application is just amazing now guys in case battle.net launcher is not able to detect your sd card you need to use a launch command let me just show you this this is my own video just copy this launch command i'll give it in the description of this video as well select the launcher click on settings icon here click on properties under launch option section paste this command now just open the sd card on your steam deck primary select here copy this directory go back to steam 
you need to paste the directory here just select your path here control plus v there you go only do this if the launcher does not detect your SD card in my case this was not required so I'll just remove it now we'll be running the game in steam gaming mode before opening the launcher I'll just show you the steam input profile click on the controller icon here I'm using this profile gamepad with mouse trackpad edit layout just go to trackpads right trackpad behavior as mouse right trackpad click simulation set to left mouse click that's it using the right trackpad to move the pointer just press the right trackpad in order to start the game play launcher will exit in about 10 seconds it will take a few seconds for the game to start yeah finally it started now this game does not support gamepad so i'll be using my mouse and keyboard to play it performance type i have set the overlay level to 3 frame rate limit set to 60 not using any other setting from here show you the game settings resolution set to 1280 by 800 pixels high settings let's start the game all right the game has started here we are getting 60 fps and dead we need more time Just using my mouse to control my character. The spirits tell me go seek the cradle of the fallen star, and so. Skip the dialogues. Ambush. Just need to clear the area. You can see the frame pacing here. Flat line indicating stable performance. The game looks and runs amazing on Steam Deck. many of these non-playable characters I've never seen anyone fight like that before Guards, open the gates You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn Checkpoint reached Zakarum has fallen to disgrace What fate can save us now? So guys, I'll end the video here I hope you found it useful Thanks for watching and have a nice day